Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and today I'm going to be bringing you a double dose of gameplay and today we're going to be playing in the Panther, the tier 7 German medium tank and probably one of the most famous tanks all round, not just in the game but just as far as people actually knowing the tank and like people actually knowing historically what the tank was all about, the Panther is probably one of the most famous. And it's something of... It's always been... It's, it's got a bit of the, the Tiger Syndrome in in-game, where people go for it because they know that on the battlefields of World War II, it was known that it could take on five Shermans or whatever absolutely easily no problem and the Shermans can pen them and everything like that and then you grind up to the tank in game you grind up all the way up to your tiger and you go or your panther and you go right I'm now indestructible to everything and then what happens is the game goes right I see you're now at tier 7 so here have some tier 9s which are late World War 2 early Cold War blueprint tanks and suck on these bad boys and you just get absolutely annihilated by everything because with my in-game brain on and I don't know if this is just a me kind of thing but every single time I see a panther I go oh that's juicy that's very juicy that's a panther I, I can just mm, lovely give give me those 1300 hit pointies give them to me right now and probably not in that voice because you know you're all like normal people but it's it's something that I feel the Panther suffers from greatly is the fact that it really it, it's one of those tanks that you just you just look at and you go nice thirteen hundred hit points for me to suck on. And I honestly thought the same thing when I um, first got the tank. Um, now into this actual game and you can see me here absolutely rinsing a ballsick with HE. Oh. Absolutely love it. Into this game, we are playing... Uh, the first game I'm going to be showing you is on Fjords. We are in a Tier 8 game. So we've got three Tier 8s on each team. Well, two Tier 8s on their team. Now I've just ripped that ball sick. Um, some Tier 7s and then some Tier 6s. The second game I'll be showing you will be with the ta uh, Panther in his best possible matchup at top tier. This is still a pretty good matchup for the tank. It obviously can get a lot worse, but I didn't really want to just show you me getting absolutely stomped by tier 9s. I haven't actually got the Panther anymore. I'm already pretty much halfway through the Panther 2, so that's why I can't really get any more gameplay for you, so I'm just kind of stuck to these um, these two videos that I have. So, all what I said at the start of the video with the Panther basically being a disappointment for a lot of people who are like history nuts and things like that, where it's like, oh, it's the Panther, it's the fiercest tank in the game. What is it actually like to play in the game, going in with a completely open mind and just playing the tank, looking at the stats and going, right, I'm going to play how I feel it should be played. And this is something that I think people need to need to get with, is it's actually a pretty good tank. Me playing through it, I actually really, really liked it. Now, a couple of changes of the Panther from, I'm going to use inverted commas, the historic Panther, because if you want to play more the historic Panther, you play, play the tier 6, I can't remember what it is, the VK 36027491900PKMV, whatever. Um, that's more the historic Panther. The Panther that you get to play in game when it's fully upgraded, you have the Schmall Turn turret on it, which is, and I'm using air quotes not that you can see me, is the Panther 2's turret. It's an experimental turret that the Germans uh, um, created towards the end of the war. There is, it is actually, there is one in existence, although it's a bit battered and beaten in the tank museum. It was used as a range target because I didn't really realise what it was and then went, oh, it's actually like a really important historical um, artefact, so we should probably keep it. Um, and you also get the um, 75 L100 gun, which is a lot longer gun than the, uh, than the historic Panthers gun. Is look at that shot, the M44. Um, but all in all, the Panther is actually really good. As you saw, the, to what I did to that Cromwell, it can ram. Obviously, it leads up to the E50M eventually, so this thing can really ram. It has a really nice rate of fire on the tank, and it also. Um, has decent armor for a medium tank 
It is not a heavy tank. You cannot take it into a heavy tank fight and bounce things left, right and centre. In a medium tank, if you angle it well against same tier and lower mediums, you can sometimes bounce off your stronger bits of armour, off your upper plate, off your well-angled side. But other than that, it's still a medium tank that will get penned by lots of things. So you just got to be careful of that. However, the gun is very, very, very nice. It's got very nice rate of fire. As you saw in this gameplay, fighting that Borsig, very nice rate of fire. Fighting everything, and it's got a decent average damage as well. Um, Sorry, not a decent average damage. Decent pen of 198 on the standard rounds and 244. Actually, that's not even decent. That's insane. You'd be happy with that on a tier 8 medium tank. Like, that. that's a really, really good pen. So, yeah, you do have to fire a lot. It's not a decent average damage. It's 135 average damage. But because of the rate of fire, because of the accuracy, because of the aim time, you can really work around this gun. And that's what you're going to see, especially if you get into a top tier matchup. And look at that. But my sheer brilliance and just absolute amazingness on YouTube and everything ever. We have a top tier matchup. Um, it's a 357, 347. I can't really count right now. 348, I think. It's not really 347, is it, Max? There's 14 players in each team. Come on, get with it. We are in a top tier matchup. This time we are on Siegfried line, and it is assault. We're defending. And you're going to see just what this thing can do when you are in a top tier. Because obviously, when you're top tier, tanks, uh, other medium tanks, they have similar alpha to you because most tier 6 and tier 5 medium tanks have around that 100 to 150 alpha damage when you get to tier 7 and start moving up to tier 8 you obviously most medium tanks are now pushing up to 240 or at very least 180 obviously there are exceptions to this rule but when you're now down at this tier your 135 average damage is now not crap but you still have that insane rate of fire, the really, really good accuracy and everything along those lines. You can see here, it, the Panther has got decent armor when you fight against lower tier tanks. And obviously, and that's where the historical, in inverted commas again, you can't see the, my, my, my air quotes, historical um, part of the, this tank comes back in because historically... It was fighting against not a T-34S, but T-34s, and M4 Shermans, and things along those lines, which are in the game are mostly tier 5. So when you fight tier 5s, you can play it more like a, right, I'm just going to bully the hell out of you, because my gun reloads just as quick as yours, but probably does more damage, is more accurate, and has a better aim time. But you still have got to be careful. You've still got things. This T-34A5M, he's just buttering me, and if he would have just purely focus me and not try to turn with that type 64 I would have probably died there so you do still have to be very careful the panther does suffer from a weakness that anybody who's been playing the the game for a very very long time won't seem as much of a weakness as it used to but um, German tanks quite often get their engines knocked out from the front because of their front mounted transmission this is a lot better than it used to be because I come from the days when German tanks with their transmissions mounted at the front used to catch fire from the front, which used to be all kinds of awful when you used to play them. Thankfully, that is no longer a thing, but you still, uh, you still, you still do have to worry about your engine being knocked down. Now, this is where you can see the Panthers just. The great rate of fire, the decent accurate, uh, the really good accuracy, the good aim time, just buttering tier five tanks at 400 meters, and it can it is it's pen. You every single one of these shots that you hit, it's gonna pen. You've got 198 pen. That's that's better than most things that tier five can handle. Even your strongest armored tanks at tier five, your KV 220s, your KV ones, things like that. They're, they're not gonna be able to bounce these shots reliably. At all, you have got a very, 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 very nice gun on this thing. And that's what you've got to play around. You've got to play around the gun. Use the fact that you do have 1,300 hit points, which is a very high amount of health for a tier 8, uh, tier 8, tier 7 medium tank. And try and... You don't use your armor. You go, hmm, 
I'm going to try not to take any damage from anything. And then if someone does shoot you and they hit a funny angle and it does bounce off your armor, you go, yay, I blocked the shot. But you do not rely on it. It's the same way you play lots of medium tanks. It's You need to play it like a medium. Don't play it like a heavy. But all in all, I am actually really happy with the panther and i was preparing myself for an absolutely horrible horrible grind i actually mess up a bit here i'm playing this like an umpty i do get hit by rt which is you know always upsetting but i really should be side scraping here not presenting that kind of angle i know it's my mistake but i've now taken too much damage this guy notices and unfortunately i present too much of an angle as i'm pushing in to try and um uh, try and get to a point where I can side scrape and he finishes me off but yeah I was I was uh, waiting for an absolutely awful experience in the panther because obviously like I said my experiences of fighting panthers has mostly been yay 1300 hit points for me to chew on in my t54 my you know anything like that my t44s but my, can't even think of any tanks my m46 patterns and everything like that you, you just think oh panther lovely give me the hit points but all in all i'm actually pleasantly surprised by playing through the panther and the panther experience and now moving on to the panther 2 as well now i've got it fully upgraded and you have the gun that now does 280 average damage it's now been buffed the really long 88 it's very much along the similar lines. I actually really quite enjoy it, which is, like I say, something that I'm very happy about because I never expected to enjoy them that much because of all the stick around them. But anyway, that is that is my 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 um, homage, you could say, to the Panther. Unfortunately, I never got around to doing a tank review on it because I was going to use these two um, vi uh, replays for a tank review. But then I got rid of the Panther and I was like, well, I've done a lot of tank reviews recently, so there's no point doing another one. But yeah, let's go take a look at the post-game stats. We'll start with the stats from the first game and then we'll come into the stats for this game. So, on to the post-game stats. And first game was an ace. Um, it was, uh, what was that, the Fjords game. We did 2,841 damage. We absolutely rinsed that Borsig with those HE rounds. Obviously, the HE is not amazing, but against a Borsig, it doesn't have to be. Um, we did 1,174 assisted and got four kills. Like I said, that was enough to get an ace. Uh, 1,260 base XP. Not too shabby of a game. And I don't really know what happened with this other replay. But when I uploaded it to what replays. It just decided not to find the game. So I do apologise about that. But um, as we can see from the gameplay. I did 3,239 damage. I got 440 blocked. I actually we did a tiny bit more damage than that. Because I did kill the KV-1 blind. So I think it was about 3,350-ish. Um, this was an ace tanker as well. Um, we got six kills, so we got a top gun. Um, other than that, I can't really remember. I do apologize. I have no idea why that's done that. It's never done it to me before. I, what, I don't know if there's a way that I can delete the replay and, um, re-upload it, but I don't think there is. I couldn't see a way, but anyway. So yeah, that was two aces in the Panther. Um, pretty good games, and yeah, I'm not going to say anything else, because otherwise I'm just going to start repeating myself, which I'm very good at doing, apparently. Um, but yeah, there we go, that is the Panther, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope if you're yet to play through the Panther, this kind of gives you a little bit of hope for playing through it, that it's not all that bad. If you have already played through it, tell me whether you agree or disagree in the comments. And that, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.